Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Magic Arena and today we are going to be doing a very quick jaunt into alchemy. I'm supposed to do it I was supposed to do this um yesterday, but I was out on a meeting, so we're gonna just actually do this kind of for the lulls. Actually uh, alchemy is somewhat interesting. There have been there as I actually re re realized that there is an interesting infinite combo, but um realized too late about that. I could have tried it out, I guess. But um, we're actually going to go for something quite simple. We're actually going to be doing food, a food deck. But primarily, we're using the food to feed this guy. So, so the idea is we have a 4 mana, 4, 5. And, when we can, and we can pay blue mana, sacrifice a food, generate card, cards for advantage. Actually generates mana as well. So the, so the premise is basically um, generate lots of food. Um, between between Mary, Sam, Rosie, okay, Peregrine, not much, a few stew the conies, Hinterland Chef kind of makes food. Um, so, but um, by generating quite a bit of food, we should be able to um, feed this bear quite a bit. If we can't feed the bear, we'll feed the dogs instead. So, mushroom watch dogs is our alternate plan. Uh, for delighted halflings, it's the closest thing to a mana elf. Well, it's still a mana dork. Well, actually, it's even dorkier than an elf, I would say. Also, have um, many partings generate food token and, and and search for our mana, especially because we do need it blue if we want to hit um if we really want to feed the bear. Everything else is pretty much um removal. So we want instant speed removal because there is an infinite combo that you do need to that you kind of want to disrupt. It's generally in white black. But otherwise, this one is relatively just for the lulls. Is see. See if we can um see if we can outpace our see if we can bury our opponent in food. Well not so much. Actually there are a few other cards I could have opted for, but um these are the kind of more reliable ones I'd say. Even the Stu the Conies I could replace with Hobbit Sting. But um Okay, so this one pretty sol pretty solid. Just need a fourth land, but we can go many partings into Okay, there's our fourth land, so search for a blue source. So depending what our opponent does, we can go also we probably want to do ossification turn two. If not, I could just go mushroom watch dogs feed and, and feed the dogs right away. All of the ring. Okay, no rush. Opponent going for as much rain tempting as possible. They do want to land creatures, so we probably might do turn tree ossification. They might also just kill our creature. They might might also kill Mary, which is um, that's not a very joyful thing to do. Oh yeah, I forgot to bring up the deck list. Give me a second. Ooh, I'm very mean. We'll just play Sam. Probably gets probably gets killed again. Let's see if our opponent actually lands a creature this time. Oh, they're actually it's a Nazgul deck. Nice. So I'm actually gonna just play. I'm just gonna play the big bear right now. Um, leave it back. Leave it back for the time being. We will be taking five if we let the Nazgul true, and we well six actually. Probably will have to let it true. We can then just hold up ossification sparse headquarter. Um, hold up ossification and faithful absence for the next place. Also having. Ooh, Gix's command. Yeah, I, I keep forgetting it. Every, everyone runs this one. This is... Okay, so we're actually taking a bit of a beating right now. And just target a basic land we control. Nuke the Nazgul. I'd say we play Sparse Headquarters. Do we... 
I guess we also just play Mushroom Watch Dogs and just pass. Oh uh, wait. We kind of want to sacrifice at least one food token just to get it out of cut down range. Then we pass. There's an argument for actually just playing the Boseju instead and holding off Sparrow's headquarters, but I wanted to see if we can hold up the fog. So I'll run the Necromancer. Ooh. Gonna hold off on Sam until we can actually. But it's pretty. But it's more along the lines of I want to probably consider getting this Boseju later. Last bull again. We can't really do it. Well, we could just crash into it, I guess. Actually, there's an argument for crashing this before this resolves. But I wanted to see. I wanted to wait for the end of turn so that our opponent doesn't have. I don't want to give our opponent just extra mana right away. So this does ETD. Yeah, just puts on the battlefield. So not exactly something I want to give away. On it might just No we might Yeah we could have denied them the extra card draw. Yeah re really annoyed with that Gixis command. Um that's kinda what makes Mono Black kinda popular right now. They have a pretty decent um board wipe at this rate. We're just gonna be using many partings to um, keep digging, but otherwise I'm proud. Yeah, at least um, start filtering our lands, I suppose. Now, considering I do have to sack one, just to have something vigilant. Though we can't, we can't even block it anyways. Probably opponent Orcish Bowmasters. Yeah, this is just a mono black special. Just some play everything good in black. Still can't will not be able to block the Nas will I anyway. So we're not exactly drawing too many cards. I might actually be forced to play Sam just to Though by doing so I'm opening myself up to another Gixis command, which is kinda disgusting. Oh well, if we if we lose, we lose. Um, I did say this is really more of a low deck than anything. I probably could have. I'm actually considering adding. Yeah, this is that's lame. I'm actually considering adding invasion of Bobacon just to have. Um, just to be able to protect. Um, kind of take out cards from our opponent's hand. Reprieve would actually also be a good option as well. I could see cutting some. Some of my one offs just to fit reprieves. Those would be those would be really helpful. Actually, I actually that would make that would make sense. Like um, there's the one off hinterland shelf. There's the one off invasion of Iphoria just to shoot her. I could just cut those. Uh, I could cut those for reprieves. Those would be fine. Uh, this hand is kind of fine, I guess. Uh, we don't get this guy right away, but we do get a turn to Mary. What the hell? I'll, I'll, I'll chance this. It, it is the awkward part of running one of these, but many we kind of need to run it for many partings. Let's see, does our opponent... Fragment Reality? Well, it does get us. A, that is the benefit of having. Ooh, I think that this is the combo deck. So. Hold on, good check. Definitely want to run this first. Oh, 
Only goes for Orcish Bowmaster to snipe Rosie, that's fine. Juggernaut Edler. <laughs> so we probably lose Hinterland Chef and just get the Fedler, which is fine. We might actually lose the Watchdog. Yeah, we lose that, get a Juggernaut. I would play a Juggernaut. Okay, here's a Fateful Absence. We do want to hold that up. Masters again to ping this one. So probably snipe this. Yeah, and then it hits di directly to us instead. Opponent can now just double block. Can now just chomp block this. Yeah, but now we're kind of flooded, so not ideal. It's just gonna take it though. I think their plan is to just overwhelm us with this, so we'll leave it. Yeah, and everyone just plays Nazgul. Like... The opponent probably still not gonna attack with Bull Masters. Oh, they are actually gonna attack. Do they have a turned Orcish Bowmasters? They probably do. Oh, it's just a Juggernaut Peddler. Which is fine, reveals the land. We can ossify the Nazgul. Yeah, I kinda wanna do that actually. And also, also no point thing, no point hiding that. Yeah, see, turns out having a basic land is actually not so bad. And there's an argument for ossifying the Orcish Bowmasters, but we don't exactly have that much card draw. Ooh, I could have also swung with this one. Well, yeah, I'm gonna make them give it up. Kind of holding this one back just in case our we, we do draw into a um, Naruto. Wouldn't it now drawing into cards? It's a land. It's another Juggernaut held Peddler. And to an <laughs> they hit the playset. It's actually decent as a way to nuke cards off your opponent's hand at two mana. But yeah, the jug you're giving them a Juggernaut. It's not the worst. Hmm. what we can hit. Uh, view Battlefield. We will get 3 mana so we can cast a 5. I don't want to mutate on the what. Yeah, this is too expensive. This is fine. It gives us something to draw cards into, but I probably just want to... I just want to cast this. Then they start swinging with the watchdogs because um they're, yeah they're not gonna get the they're not exactly gonna get better, so we do get one swing. You know, opponent concedes. I think they drew out. We do. This yeah, this one is fine. <laughs> yeah, that. We probably would get one swing with Oyamanarto probably to eat a chump block, but that's that was the reason why I was holding back. If our opponent had a cut down, they 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 killed the dogs that way. I would have been fine with that. Also having a lot of two drops to Bombadil's song. Something to consider for the second. 
Though realistically, if mono black is gonna be an issue, you probably want to have reprieve. Being able to delete being able to delay Gix's command is a very it's a very powerful option. Eh, okay, this one not so great. I'm gonna mold this. Okay, this one is reasonably better. Uh, I probably still wanna keep the halfling. I'm I don't want to keep the fragment reality at this point. We are honestly running a lot of these um a lot of these slow lands, so that is a problem. I tried balancing it out with uh, I probably could use a Fort Red Razor Verge ticket if I have it. Why are you playing blue red? So this is actually gonna be interesting. The smoldering egg. At least we can Faithful Absence it if it comes to that. Uh, most likely going to play Peregrine Took first, so it's... Blue-Red has some... Oh, it's just another egg. Okay, not ossifying anything anytime soon. Yeah, we'll play Peregrine Took first. The next turn we play Mary Swing with Took. Um, let's... Sitting on the law of mana, that's a bit concerning. Well, it is gonna let me swing, so that actually generates two food tokens for us. That I only I only have a singleton took because there, we don't we really don't want to have too many of these guys. It's actually quite slow at three. Now I'm legitimately concerned what our opponent could have. Memory Deluge, so really gonna just go into this. I guess we do it now while we still can. Limit the damage at least. Now this would be a case where Hobbit's thing is better than Studiconis. Actually, I'm starting to think that... I might actually want to drop this for Hobbit Sting, or probably one of the more reliable white removal spells. Or even just Invasion of Gobakan, just to have a peek at our opponent's hand. If we can hit our basic land, that would really be great. This one, unfortunately, we can only target stuff our opponent controls, so we're not getting... Okay, there's our, there's our basic land. Now, take note that this one just transforms, so it's still the same target. Uh, we have a blue source, we have lots of green. We'll still take a blue, we'll still take an island. Now, our opponent might have an actual counter spell here, so that would be annoying. Yeah, it's a case where we, that's where we want reprieve. So, in this case, if I w went for, if I had reprieve, I would have gone for an island instead. Let's see, maybe our opponent has a way to defend this. Actually, our alternate plan would have been Flame of Anor draws two cards. Sure, but it's still the same target. Yeah, that's just how transforming works. Maybe you could probably cast a spell to snipe something in passing, which would be a good play. Yeah, snipes Mary and snipes the halfling. We will keep one mana up. I'm gonna do a check on this one. Oh, it's exile. So that said, I want to protect, but at the same time, I also want to draw cards. Yeah, the, yeah. Let's let's just draw a card. Okay, we hit we hit our bear, but um, we are gonna be. But we are shy in food, so we're if we okay, Minas Tirith. Let's 
You want to point and cast and score. Yeah, Peregrine not the it's 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 a more it's a win more card, so not exactly generating that many. Okay. Lots of imp double impulse and a consider. That's considerable. Now I feel like I'm about to walk into a counter spell though, so oh yeah, opponent um had to do that because they don't want me drawing off Minas Spirit. Let's see if our opponent actually has a counter spell. Oh they do. You think? Yep. They do, and got the free ring 10. Glorious Gale does make sense for this format. There are lots of legendaries now. Hmm, maybe I was better off just... Maybe I was just better off feeding all of this. I, I did not see any bounce spells yet, so that's something to consider. When it's now just going to cast a consider. Yeah, now this is so vulnerable to uh, any typical burn spell. Yeah, we are in real trouble. We kind of spent all our resources just to... That's cute, but um, we barely got there. One is going to just draw their way out. They have so much burn. Don't actually makes so much burn. Don't actually this actually makes a lot of sense. Oh my gosh, it's literally just all burn. Yeah, we're not gonna get past this. We would we really would the we really need the bear to not be countered. Even more burn. I think our opponent might actually ignore this because um once you get the once you do get the dragon flip, it, those are free kills. Opponent did show negate, so I would not be surprised if they still have a negate. Yeah, they had still had the negate. Excess damage, yeah, we can compete. <clears throat> I, I did I did already mention that this is really more this is more of a meme deck than anything, so we're not exactly look we're not exactly looking for we did feed the bear once already. I kinda wanna see if we can get that happening again. If anything it's telling me that the deck should have reprieve. I'm just gonna wait for one I'm just gonna think of how to adjust it. Yeah, probably those those weird one offs. I'm gonna I'm gonna cut for reprieve. Um, so. No turn to Sam, but we are gonna get five to three. So most likely turn to delight the halfling. We can delight the. I kinda wanna wait because I'm expecting a Nazgul. Yep, Mona Black, Nazgul. So this allows us to drop Sam, drop the Halfling. Get get food this way. But again, we're probably in real trouble because Gix's command this is a Gix's command's um, best screen. I might actually just play Minas Tirith and... Am I willing to sacrifice my board? Or does our opponent have cut down as well? They probably have cut down, do they? They're not showing cut down, but I think they do. Hmm, I'm thinking... No. I'm 
going to attack with both just to repress that the card draw. Maybe our opponent does have removal. I'm pretty sure they have removal. Because oh. I'm right now just sitting on Iganjo. I'm trying to think. No, there's no way I'm going to be able to. So he's sniping Larry Nas will probably lose something in the process, but it is what it is. Yeah, there was a cut down after all. Can't really do anything about that. It's still a blocking it, it blocks so it's still a blocking creature. Might as well start might as well start digging our digging through our deck. So now we are in kind of real trouble. Had one that has the one ring, yeah, starts drawing into a lot of cards. Oh, they drew the card right away. So were they? They might have had a cut down already. No cut down. So I can just swing just to get the food token, so which is not so bad. Um, I can also, I can also probably just play. Ri no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep that. One. I'm gonna keep the that one card. Bigger. So I'm gonna swing just to wait. Nope, he cuts it down, so no reason to swing anymore. But our opponent has such a healthy life total, it's not funny. Yeah. All of the ring. My gosh, everyone's just No, our opponent seems to be short on creatures at this rate. Don't tell me their only creatures are literally just the nine Nazgul. I could just eat these, but I know I have a better use for them, so I'm actually gonna wait. So the light that happening is not gonna. Actually, it looks like our opponent is kind of dry. Kind of dry. Opponent might start drawing even more cards. Yeah, they're go they're gonna go for it. I I think they do have something. I suspect a Gixis command anytime soon, which would see nope, just bow bow masters. It does make Gixis command kind of weird now. Maybe they have uh, they had the second bow masters, of course. Not gonna be drawing cards with Minas Tirith anytime soon, eh? have yet another oh no let's just go for the throats still the same thing it it kind of nukes it we, we really need to have an explosive start and that honestly the can we kept was really poor i can actually say that yeah this is kind of i'm gonna wait for one more draw but honestly it's kind of lost at this point we are still at twenty life. We if we if they, if if they hit us with this one two, we we go down to fifteen. Real dread. Oh, this is a nice one. I'm surprised. Uh, most likely they drew it off this one, so they actually gain more life than they lose. I would need to ossify this just to keep. I would need to ossify this just to keep from dying. Um, to keep it from going out of control. Um, I guess we can eat them. Yeah, um, just by itself the food is really underwhelming. We really need to... I'm kinda annoyed that, uh, that this is a very... Yeah, alchemy can still be very overpowered, I would say. And a lot of people are saying that it's an argument for cards like Shieldred to get get the ban hammer. Hey, there's our ossification, so So we do kinda save a little bit. Yeah, our card draw issues are an issue as 
are an issue, honestly. Of course, we take children. Now, there, now that said, there's a very good chance our opponent has another shield right in hand, so it's kind of a moot point. Yeah, turns out not. Um, turns out in the format where there's so much spot removal. Yeah, it's very hostile to creature decks these days. It's actually. I'm actually wondering how did I get those. Ah, I get it. When I was doing testing, when I was doing testing it earlier, it was really early, so I was not. Also take note, our opponent is stopped. Oh wait, they're still go well drawing five cards. But take note, he stopped um drawing off this one. Okay, draws a one ring to replace, which that is usually the alternate plan. Replace. So opponent's probably not gonna die. They just probably stop activating this. Yeah, we can concede this one. Come on. Monoblack's gotten way too... I would say Monoblack's gotten way too powerful. Do we also play Monoblack as well? Nah. For, for a format like Alchemy, I probably just don't play the format altogether. Shame. I kind of want to get at least one more win. Just see what, what it looks like, though. Oh yeah, I, oh yeah I've been saying. We should be... We, we should change the deck list. We should, we should really add those reprieves. But... Being able to buy time against certain cards like like delay, I think in that game though Shieldred was already they already had lots of mana, so Shieldred would not have mattered. But unable to submit that. What what gives? Hold on. Okay, there you go. That's weird. I should really check my network connection again. So, take off the weird one off. So, invasion in this. Oh, in fact, I have two copies of Reprieve. I probably want to drop the Stew the Ponies as well. Do I add more Reprieve? We do have some planes, so lay down arms is an option as well. Hexproof indestructible scry one. Um it doesn't help against I guess we could use portable foam for early removal, but No, if anything we want cards that are in green because that's our main color. And so far, we've actually been seeing a lot of um, we've seen we're seeing a lot of enchant um enchantments to deal with. So I guess we actually just run a haywire might. So we'll just te we're just testing it out. It, it does give us an early play. Um, we've already seen enough copies of um tempt with. We've already seen enough copies of Call of the Ring and the One Ring that I'm already so sick and tired of it. But it's probably still not the best for it. Okay, so this one's pretty good. Turn turn one Halfling, turn two Rosie. There is a good chance that um, turn one Halfling dies. Opponent did just play red. No, Frodo. Pretty determined, are we? Oh, so what's this? As long as it's your turn, favorite. Okay. Whenever enter, you may attach target equipment. So, but it's otherwise breaking the fellowship by. Uh, the delighted the happening kills Rosie. We take two. The sent half vigilance. I could fragment reality this just to give them a one drop. I 
definitely want to play the Haywire Might first. Since it looks like our opponent is playing a uh, playing an enchantment set. Let's also grab our blue source, because why not? It's also just prevent damage, it doesn't see the sort of inherit inherit that envelope. Um, someone else can inherit that. Ooh, they actually have the other Frodo, so is that the... Well, we can ossify that. Now, I... I probably should... Yeah, I probably should not be attacking with Halfling anymore, so I have the option to, to cycle. Actually, I should have also considered nuking the envelope, but I'm suspecting that there's even worse equipment on incoming. And this one is deals to each opponent, so... If it gets really bad... Okay, that's something we do want to nuke. Not right away, but um, we can nuke it now, I guess. Mm -hmm. Mushroom Watchdogs... Also gonna sacrifice probably sacrifice both just to just to force them to have a particular removal spell. Let's limit their options somewhat. But definitely we are nuking the we are gonna nuke the white white tree. When it is flooded. Okay, many parting, more food. I don't want to cast this one yet, though. I'm just going to swing with everything. This puts our opponents to... Oh, they, they whiff. So it's kind of... It's just unfortunate. Though I would say that noting the number of basic lands, I guess that is an issue. So we just fed the dogs instead. It's good stuff, I would say. Yeah, there you go. Opponent concedes. So we did... So we did get our second win after all. Not not too bad. I kind of want to see if I want to get another one. Yeah, let's give it a try. Though I'll be honest, um, mono black. This one does fail hard to mono black. So, but hey, we did feed the bear once. We did. We do. We did keep feeding the dogs. I should probably rename the deck. Feed the feed the pets. Maybe <laughs> pretty decent way around it. Yeah. So this one we got reserve ticket. We do get a late fateful absence. My concern is that if we don't hit our third land, all of these are bad. We're gonna mold this. Okay, this one's much better. We have early removal, ossific I probably just dropped the ossification here. Because we don't have a basic quite yet. Which will be awkward if I do draw into a basic, but uh, We'll play Ticket first, start getting Haywire Might. This is probably going to be the number one tool against um, the One Ring um, against one, the one ring and all those um, pretty busted enchantments. I'm only playing blue. So we do have a setup for bear, but I suspect our opponent might be playing counter spells. Rona. I yeah, this is probably not the best use for this. Oh, they forgot to play one drops. Neat. Also, we're kind of missing the food token, so 
Oh yeah, Minartok's gonna have to fish for himself. I suspect this is blue black. But so far it's been look it's looking more like blue. Interesting. There's a card from Prodigy. So the plan is attack with Mary, get the food, um, fish with, fish with Oya, Pwn it in draw and discard mode. Though if he discard, though he, if he discards an artifact card, which is probably what this deck is about, we are going to be looking at a lot of power spend tokens. Hey, where might can you the token? I'd say, but ooh, they get it's a one with the multiverse deck. This is a. I would have expected this in green blue. At least get some ramp going. Now, this is Direction Road. I'm gonna swing with both of them just to see if we can convince our opponent to. If we can convince our opponent to chump block the Haywire Mike. <laughs> They might go for Mary. And they went for Mary. That's uh, that's expected. So we'll save this for later. So we already have the food. Also, having a source of blue mana is really important because that's the only way we we're activating this. This is really designed for green blue. One at five mana. Um, one shy of Sublime Epith. Well, here. Well, it's still milling like a champ, though. So. So, note that we spend one, we get three, so. That's, that's gonna be four map. Oh, this is just an. This is just a mill deck? They. I guess our opponent can try to go for the mill. We, we we haven't exactly done anything, so it's fine. So I think we're just waiting to see if our opponent actually goes for it. Oh wait, they can. Because we still have the Haywire Might. They can pay for the unearth that before they attack. So now they have to do it that way just to prove it. Chart, though it's though the timing is awkward. Do I get Mystic Skyfish instead? Things flying, no, it's really bad. Let's just go great chart. So we play Mary. Great chart. And I'm okay with um now feeding myself. Opponent does now have a. Um, opponent can now blue sense twilight again. They're still drawing discarding, so they're looking for something good. Probably not. Yeah, this plan is kind of. Oh, see, Haywire might <laughs> randomly hoses things. Pretty, pretty decent. But yeah, we're definitely gonna feed the bear again. If we had other ways to use the mana, sure. As it is, if our opponent swings with nope, just Rona, Herald of Invasion, nothing else. I'm gonna feed the bear again. See that you're off. Yeah, we're games. Wait, this Yeah, it's only to cast blue creature spells.
we are setting our opponent into a kind of no-win situation. Oh, they're 5, 9, 10, 11. I think they just take them. Ooh, drew another bear. Let's... I'm gonna still play the Mushroom Watchdogs. Then pass. Opponent does have the mana to capture either of these, so not a great proposition for us. Though it does, nope, force to unearth, that's fine. I guess of all the mono strategies, probably mono blue not the best right now. Yeah, especially if you're just gonna be drawing and discarding. Yeah. Also if note this has vigilance. They're... Yeah, this looks like a con this looks like a concede already at this point. Dude. Like even if you were to yeah, this, look, this definitely looks like a concede. At best, our opponent can find something that will annoy us, but it won't save them. Yeah, all, all these niche artifacts that don't really do anything. At least not in mono blue. This, this is definitely a ramp color. Ooh. Also, our opponent could have held priority if they wanted to draw and discard again, so... Well, they technically still can. They'll just um, nuke the older one. Uh, Unearth Souls... Yeah, they had an idea where they would just keep pitching stuff to get power stones and ca cash in on this, but... Didn't really pan out. Lo lots of weird choices, like... A lot of weird choices along the way. Anyway, we managed to feed the bear multiple times. We're pretty. I guess um, that's. I guess that's enough for the day. That was a pretty good one. Again, if um, again, it's not exactly gonna beat mono black, which seems to be the popular one. But we did get we did get some wins, and I'm actually quite happy with the results so altogether. That's gonna be it for this episode, of Magic Arena. Run. If you like what you saw, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Turn on notifications and whatnot. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope to see you guys again next time. Take care. God bless. Stay safe wherever you are. Have a great weekend.